And for that matter, help bring energy across Mindanao, still suffering regular brownouts. In his welcome address, Dean Alcaba said, As soon as the Mindanao reader comes out of Admiral Press, he'll be the first to read it. However, if the reader will ever make an appearance, the authors will have to start digging through archives and voluminous materials, finding that rare free time in between classes, administrative jobs, and a hundred multitasks at hand, canceling vacations and dates, and checking out Caribbean or Chicago style before even being able to sit down to write their scholarly pieces. And mind you, August will soon appear, just a few days from now. <laughs> September's song is just around the corner. And before you know it, the end of October is upon us. And then the day of reckoning, the dreaded word, deadline. It's the end of the line by then. But who will be left standing while others find themselves dead in half-finished manuscript? But fear not, dear authors. My November and December pa. January ka naman kasi. And I will press deadline. But we know how the mournful days of, the, of November could demand family life, which could still provide a haunting spell over us in the name of kinship. And December, all oh, those worries to balance cash flows in the midst of frantic Christmas shopping could sap all our energy. So, for God's sake, Allah's mercy be invoked. When will we all finish our chapters by then for this reader? But fear not, dear authors, if the energy manifested yesterday with the modified World Cafe exercise is a sign of the signs to come, then Joey and Joel will have smiles on their faces by New Year 2020. Indeed, the brain power were at work yesterday, which should ask that perhaps, instead of a three-volume Mindanao reader, we will compete with the 11 volume of the revised CCP encyclopedia. <laughs> so all I can really do now by way of concluding remarks is to appropriate the fact that I'm one of the elders in this group and invoking the wisdom of the ancestors that walk the mountain paths across Mindanao's mountain ranges from the Tuata to the Malinda to lead you into the spirit of this blessing. May Manama bring us back the melodies of the epic chants of the Olahingan so that along with the Subanan in the west to the Mandayas of the east, from the Bagubo Tagadawa and Tagabawa on the south to the Higaunos of the north, we can all dig the roots of our ancestors' memories and revisit the past for lessons that can help us survive the travails of the future. May magbabaya, chanamin, apusandawa, and all you gods and goddesses bring eternal peace to all the dead ancestors, some of whom are ensconced inside the maitong jars, or whose spirits are woven into the Tinalak, or sail across the islands riding in Talanghais, so that their diwa allows us to sail along despite the threats of survival. May Allah's mercy empower us to embrace the richness of our Muslim ancestors whose linkages to the rest of the world allowed Mindanao Sulu to be the front door of the archipelago's involvement in the fabled Asian trade, welcoming the Chinese, the Arabs, the Hindus to bring in priceless artifacts, allowing us to appropriate the artistic legacies that made our artisans produce gold jewelries, the tamra, the oker, and all 
Iberian culture that are now going to see their rice possessions and museums outside London. May God's plentiful grace bring us into the spirit of goodwill and solidarity so that we can sustain our efforts at waging war, rather, waging peace rather than war, growing crops for food rather than importing weapons of destruction, building bridges rather than walls. In this manner, our efforts at producing this reader will help bridge fragmentations and binary oppositions across the various divides of class, ethnicities, geographical origins, cultural traditions, religious beliefs, genders, sexual orientations, physical and mental dispositions, colors of skins and language accents, levels of colonizing education, and all other assertions of identities. And may whatever are the spirits of this room, are there still remnants to the spirit of the ancestors of Umabun and Ruana and the warrior Lapulapo? Accompany us in our journeys today and in the days to come as we sail across the seas back to our homelands, filled with hope that by January 2020, Dean Alcaba's hands will hold the first edition of the Mindanao Reader. And may God have mercy on us if on that day Dean Alcaba's desire will remain unfulfilled. <laughs> but all doubts be done, for we shall overcome, we shall deliver. Amen. 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 Amen.